Hi and welcome to another episode of PeaceMeg TV. In today's video for WordPress, we're going to take a look at how we can combine Slider Revolution 5 and WooCommerce to promote products on our website. So let's take a look at how quick and easy it is and how versatile this is to create great looking product sliders with minimal effort. So let's start off by creating our new slider in Slider Revolution 5. So on the Slider Revolution dashboard, we're simply going to come over to New Slider and click to add a new slider in. And then we can choose our content source. So as you can see, we've got a range of different options available to us. And we're going to choose WooCommerce. Once we do that, that's going to open up a range of additional options specific to your copy of WooCommerce that's installed in your WordPress software. So let's click on that. And you can see now we have a range of different options that allow us to configure exactly what information and where that information comes from to populate our slider. So if we take a look, we've got things broken down to three key areas. We've got the post type, the product categories, and then we've got some ways of filtering the information based upon our previous settings. So let's choose product. We're going to keep that simple, but you can see we can choose from product variations. So we've got a range of different options available there. Then we can go and choose whether we want to sort things by categories, by product categories, by tags, but product tags and so on. So you can see we've got a range of different things that we can do on here. So I'm going to keep this simple. I'm going to come down and choose product tags. And for this example, I'm going to choose Adobe Lightroom. Now you can see I've only got one product in there, but if we take a look at photography, because the ones above are both in those in that photography category, you can see I can sort of sub filter things down on there. So we've got a great way of going through and filtering all this information out. So I'm going to choose Adobe Lightroom to start off with. We'll leave it at that. Then we can say, how do we want to sort our products? So if we're dealing with, say, five or six or 10 or 20 products in our slider, we can say, do we want to sort them by their post ID, by stock quantity, SKU, a whole range of different ways of filtering that information and specifying exactly how we sort it. We can then say, in what direction do we want to be descending or ascending? So we can show the newest or the oldest first or the most expensive or the cheapest, however you choose to work with your product sorting. Then we can see we can limit the number of products. Now, obviously, if you're dealing with a slider that's quite a large slider, for example, the header of your page, you don't necessarily want to force people to load 30 products in there. So you can limit that. And I would say something around the sort of four to six for a large slider should be more than enough. So let's go for four. Even though we've only got one product, we are just effectively limiting this to, to four products to being shown based upon the sort criteria that we specified above. We can then limit the excerpt. We can specify we want to have regular price from and to, so we can subfilter again. And the same goes if we've got sale prices. We might want to have a page that just has sale items from a particular category or in a particular price range, where we can filter that information there. And we can also specify whether we only want in-stock items or featured items. So we can say, well, we don't want to try to sort of promote uh, out of stock items so we can specify yes we wanted that on or off so we're only showing anything that's in stock do we want to limit that to featured products well we could say yes or no on there as well so that's how we can go through and we can filter that information quickly and easily just by using these three key areas for our woocommerce products next we've got the typical area we can go in and specify exactly what uh, the name of the slide is going to be so we're going to call this woocommerce and we'll give it an alias as well. We'll do the same thing again. So WooCommerce. You can see there's our short code, should we need it. We can come down there and we can choose the type of slider we want. We want to work with a standard slider, a hero scene, which would only display one product, which is kind of counterintuitive what we want in this example. Or we could use a carousel slider, or we could even go in and load a preset from slider types. So you can see we've got a range of different presets there we can choose from, or we can save one ourselves and we can load that back in at any time. Let's keep it simple. We'll go with a standard slider. We can come down there and we can control do we want auto, full width or full screen. Again, this is entirely up to you. But what I'm going to do in this example, I'm going to set this to be 1200 by 500 for my particular example here. Leave it at auto. That will then set this to be a full width slider. If I wanted to, I can control whether the overflow is hidden, respect the aspect ratio or put in a minimum height. So again, you know, these are kind of things we've we've covered these in previous videos. So if you want to sort of take a look at a bit more detail what these options do, I'd recommend checking out some of the other videos in the Slider Revolution uh, playlist we've got. Okay, so there's the basics of our slider. So we can just hit save to make sure we've saved that out. And we've got our slider now ready to start populating that information. So let's move on and take a look at what we can do with the slides themselves. 
So the next thing we need to do is just tell it what source we want to use to get these images. So as you can see, we've got the main background area and we've got all these different options available. And if we come down, you can see we currently have nothing displayed there. So what we need to do is tell it we want to deal with the featured image in this example. So we'll click on that and that will now tell it that's where the image is going to come from. We can go to source settings and we can tell it exactly how we want this image to be treated. So you can see we can keep it at the original size. Where does it come from? Do we take the alt tag from the, uh, the media library? The same with the title. Do we want the background fit to be covered? Where do we want the image to be positioned? Where the center center or you can see any of the other options we have available to us. And do we want to repeat this background image? So if we now come down, you can see it tells us we've got a WooCommerce slide in there and we've got the basics all set up. So if we hit save now, we've now got our initial slider set up. So we can jump over to a test page and take a look at what this looks like. So as you can see, there's our test slide. Now we've only got one slider on there, but obviously if we had more images, then we could transition through those. But you can see it's cropping off a little bit of the image. So we can, if we want to, we can go back into the settings and change the way this is handled. So if we wanted to, we could jump back up to slider revolution, click on slider settings to go back to the global slider settings for this particular example. And then what we can do is we can come down and we could say, well, we want the overflow hidden turned off. Uh, we want to respect the aspect ratio or we can switch those on. And uh, let's just hit save settings, jump back to our test and refresh the page. And you now see it shows us the full image, which will scale based upon the browser size. So we've got all of the image that we've used for this particular product. So quite easy to come back in and make those tweaks and changes. And it's really, really straightforward. So hopefully what you can see from this example is that you can quickly and easily create product sliders for products that are added into your WooCommerce st online store. And then you can automatically populate a slider on any of the given pages. So this is a great way of promoting specific products in a category, in a particular sector, anything you want really. Now I've only scratched the surface on what you can do with WooCommerce linked in with Slider Revolution 5. And in a future video, we'll take a look at a lot more in depth and we'll see some of the other things we can do with this and we'll create some product graphics and so on, just so I can show the entire process. But hopefully this brief overview has given you an insight into how you could utilize WooCommerce and Slider Revolution 5 to promote your products. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of the new content we add every single week. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback on this video, or anything else we cover on the channel, please pop those in the comments section below. And until next time, take care.